Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of this Autofix 3210 wireless OBD2 adapter. This is a very simple OBD2 adapter that will work with uh, an app on your phone and I'll show you exactly how it works. As you can see, very simple design OBD2 adapter to connect to your phone via Bluetooth. Really easy to install. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go down on the bottom of your car and you want to plug it into the OBD2 uh, port. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the door. Let's just step out to show you what the OBD2 port looks like on this uh, on this car if you look down here down low as you can see let's try and get the camera at a good position right there that little white port that's the OBD2 port what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this we're gonna just plug it in just like that nice secure plug you can see it lights up so you know that it's working properly now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go inside the car we're gonna take a look at the phone so what I have here is I have um, the actual app uh, loaded up. Okay, now hopefully, sorry about the glare. Doing my best to show you. So we're gonna connect to the actual uh, to, to the unit. So I'm gonna click connect up here. Uh, Auto fix 3210. Click it. It says connecting. Please wait. I'm gonna turn the brightness up on the screen. Just give me a moment. Connection is successful. What we'll do is we'll actually turn the brightness up. Uh, let's just turn it up. There we go. Perfect. It's at its brightest setting, unfortunately. So. Let's, here we go. There we go. So as you can see right over here, this is what the uh, app looks like. And what we can do over here um, is we can uh, go to the dashboard. Okay. Now on the dashboard, you can see the RPMs right now. So I can push the, the, uh, the accelerator, the gas, and you can see the RPMs are going to spike up. So it shows you your RPMs. Uh, it'll show you over here a whole bunch of other um, different uh, factors. You have the VSS, you have the ECT, and then you have all of the uh, various uh, sensors right over here. Okay, so very simple. When you want to exit it, you just click and then you go back over here. Let's just go back. So that shows you um, basically what's going on with your car, which means automatically you can use it as a display unit. If I had a phone mount, I could mount my phone right there while displaying the RPM. So I can, you know, mount my phone and there you go. You have a tachometer, a digital tachometer, just like that. Very simple. So I'm doing my best here to show you all of the features while still giving you um, an, sort of an anti-glare. And if I could just reach up to the top here, that would be great. All right. So diagnostic, you can also use this to scan for code. So as you can see, it just scanned that quick okay let's just there we go scan complete 100% it gives you a visual indicator of the car um, and it can show you um, any current codes any pending codes and any permanent codes okay very simple you can clear the codes and you can record the codes easy easy peasy so let's say there's a problem with your car and it's a trouble code and you want to figure out what's going on with your car it can tell you you know mass airflow sensor there's a problem with it or it'll give you a code and you can cross reference that code and look it up Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. There are a few other options. You have your trip information over here. You can see uh, the various uh, as you're driving, but I haven't moved. That's why it says time, zero seconds, distance, zero meters, but it'll give you information for as you're driving. Okay, it shows you a whole bunch of information over there. You can do a performance test. And last but not least, I just wanna show you the freeze frame. Where did I see it? I just had it right there. Freeze frame down over here. So the freeze frame, well, I really apologize about the glare. I'm really doing my best here. Uh, no find freeze frame data. So you can actually get freeze frame data uh, and display it over here, uh, which will show you uh, various, various snapshots of your car. Okay. Um, trouble code, diagno diagnose reports. You can uh, diagnose the I am readiness. So you want to figure out if your car is ready for uh, an emissions test. You can look at your I am readiness test. Okay. Trouble codes, freeze frame, O2 sensor data, onboard monitoring data, vehicle information data data stream snapshot I mean you literally have tons of options which is why I like this so basically in my opinion this is just worth it solely for the dashboard in itself because you can just display your RPMs you can look at various other uh, dashboards over here various other information over here you can see spark advance uh, a whole bunch of data that you can that you can look at and use if you're a car person um, but in addition to that if you need to diagnose your car you can diagnose it trip information you have your I am readiness monitor so detecting in progress look check this out it's showing you uh, the fuel system monitoring misfire monitoring okay comprehensive component monitoring catalyst monitoring heated catalyst like I mean literally you name it for the uh, for the uh, emissions test the I am readiness test and uh, it shows you all the information your O2 sensors look detecting the O2 sensors it's showing me the values of the O2 sensors 
I mean, literally, you can go deep. You can use it as simply just the dashboard function, or you can go so deep uh, with the information that you have. And that's basically it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video review of this Autofix 3210 wireless OBD2 um, uh, uh, transmitter. If you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.